Yikes. <laughs> Look at it. There's the question. And there is the answer. That percentage of resolutions that are failing just after the first week of the new year, 22%. Okay, we're here to make that number smaller and help all of us stick to our resolutions. Our executive producer, Jill, is keeping us in the know with all the challenges. And this one is called the New Year's Resolution Bingo Challenge. Yes. So, Jill, how does this one work? So, you get your own bingo card and then you just write down the resolutions you want to happen this year. Is it like your bucket list? I'm kind of cheating and it is more of my bucket list for the year. But Give me an like example, Jill. That counts. I think it is um, like a resolution. Yours is good. So I've written a few down. So right now I have like road trip to Na Arches National Park because I've never been there, but mm -hmm. I've lived in Utah for like 20 years. So I should have gone there by now maybe. Um, then I want to see a new to me musical. So um, whether that's like Moulin Rouge, I'd love to see Six the Musical mm -hmm. or something else. So what happens when you do get a bingo and you cross off something? So well, once you do things, you stamp it off. And then if you do get a bingo, you can reward yourself. So whether that's um, like with my family, we like to do PDRs, which is a proper drink run. So we'll go to Swig or Dutch Bros and get a hot chocolate or whatever What you did want. you call it? A, a PDR. PDR. A proper drink run? Yeah. It's something that we've been doing in our family for years. So. Because it's fancy. You can't just have a soda at home. No, You've got to take a proper drink run. Yeah. I love that. It's so fun. So that's your reward. Yeah, but that this, can be it, or it can be something bigger, too. This mm. also keeps you accountable yeah. because you see them written down and you see them in front mm -hmm. of you. We talked on the show a lot about positive resolution making, that mm -hmm. if it becomes negative, you don't stick to it. Great. It has to be a positive way of thinking. I think that's what a bucket list is. Yeah. So like last year, I did a, um, something new in 2022 and I did it on TikTok. So it'd keep me accountable. This bingo is my 2023. So it'll keep me accountable. And it's still something that I want to do that's new to me um, so that I can still experience life because life can be tough sometimes. So you want to do something fun. Absolutely. And okay. So or two as well. Exactly. Right? When you are all putting these down, are you going for maybe the themes of the year or are you doing literally things you can check off or both? Um, literally things I can check off. Like I need to downsize my personal belongings. I want to take a cooking class. Like um, I want to do a daily gratitude challenge for a full month because I feel like that's more realistic than doing something for 365 days. Jill, you always inspire me though with all of the new things and the creative things that you want to do. You're mm -hmm. always stepping outside of your comfort zone, outside mm -hmm. of the box, yeah. and I like it. Here's yeah. the tough part about this one is this is a lot. It's a like lot. I wrote down four really quickly and this now is 25, I 24, 24 of these. You get a free space in the middle because it's bingo. Mm -hmm. OK, so, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking one resolution this year <laughs> and now I'm having to come up with 23 more. Yeah, so, oh. it's, you, know, so you take your time take putting your time. it together. And so what have you do 15, do 15. So Number far. one is minimalist. I really want oh. to pare mm. things down yeah. like really you should only have like three of things. Okay. You know, and, and so I think I saw it on Instagram or TikTok, like what do you truly, really need? Mm -hmm. And so I think when you look at your stuff, are you really going to use it or is it just sitting there? Yeah. I went through my candle cabinet before I went on <laughs> vacation and I had so many candles that just had like, you know, like this much. And you're like, I should keep that. I yes. probably need that. Uh huh. Should yeah. you toss them? Yes. Doesn't that feel good? You can't throw away candles, though. I say no to that. That's Even a boundary. Even if it's just a little you just bit. Said be a minimalist. <laughs> okay, if they're a little bit, okay, then you can <laughs> like throw almost them out. gone, right. but she's just saving. So you can, yeah, we can. Speak okay, I want you to share. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. I want you to share some of yours. Mine. I have drink more water. I don't oh, know exactly how much I water that, that will be, too. but it should be more. Um, I have cut back on sugar. I don't know if that sounds positive, but I think so. You know, should I say eat healthier? No, you could Next just say quit. cut down yeah. on sugar one day a week and then it's more realistic. <gasps> mm -hmm. You want to do something well, that's more um, one bite size. Day bite size. A week. Nisha, I helped you with this because I ate some treats that were at your desk yesterday. So I was on vacation. Yeah, you ate sorry my sugar. About it. <laughs> yeah. This is a true admission. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm cutting back. Yeah, I you helped you. Something I more helped specific. You. So you don't want to just like you want to read more. You like read one book a month, you know? You want to make it oh, more I specific like so too. it's more attainable. Did attainable. you say where people can print this off? Um, we're going to put it up on our website so that people can print it off and try it out for themselves. Should we mm -hmm. each share one really quick? Saray, what's one that you did? Well, minimalist. Oh, the and minimal? then more joy. I think that's pretty generic. So I have to think about exactly mm -hmm. what that means. Yeah. Right? Go exactly. ahead, Dina. Ugh, there's so much. Now I'm like, my brain's going everywhere. Okay. So I did focus on positive thinking. Um, I want to do, there's a free online course at Harvard. It's a happiness course. It is mm -hmm. their most popular course ever. Anyone can do it. It's like two to three hours a week to complete it. Um, I want to move into a bigger home and drink more water. I'm just getting started, Lo. I have to fill all this out. <laughs> 
Yeah. You helped me. I said be on time, but then I needed to make it more specific, so I said one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be Just tough. so you all know. Baby right? steps. I'll be here one day a week. <laughs> Baby steps. We'll keep you updated on Instagram well, and Facebook. Well, this that. is fun, and it's very specific, so we like this, and yeah. it's sort of like getting into the manifesting. Yeah. So. And then you get to reward yourself if you get a bingo. Yeah. I like it. What is it? Do you keep working on it? DPR. PDR. Oh, PDR. PDR. <laughs> Not a PBR. That's a PDR. <laughs> Easily confused, I mean, though. You Three could PDR. do that as well. All yeah. inclusive.